Good. This is our first semifinal in the men's minus 54 kilogram division between James Howe in red and Alejandro Bravo in blue. Alejandro Bravo from Miami, coached by Russ Benneby, uh, actually coached here today by Terrence Jennings. James Howe from California, coached by Russ Benneby. Good one minute gone by. Not a lot of action here so far. Both guys looking and looking, just kind of probing, know each other pretty well. So they've trained together many a times in South Florida. Good punch there. Just a little short, a little late. Therefore, no point being scored. Again, how maybe the most veteran fighter in the entire tournament here today. Him and Damian Villa both can kind of try for that honor. Oh, great. Sliding roundhouse kick to the head by James Howe. Just barely misses. Showed great length there. Stretched it really long. There's a punch there by Bravo. One, one judge pushes. You need two. Therefore, no point. Ten seconds left. Good defensive double kick right left by James Howe doesn't score. And that ends the round. That's a great first round actually by both athletes. Kind of a, a slower paced first round, but what I liked about it was that both athletes were very content to play their style of game. Alan Brown was going to attack when he feels comfortable. He's not going to attack often. And on the other side, James Howe looking for that long, long kick to the head, looking for that defensive double kick, but. No, no worrisome, no pressure here for James Howes. He knows he's been in this position before. So this is semifinal number one. We have another semifinal coming up with Melvi Alvarez and Juan Carlos Norzagare. Again, Bravo in the blue from Florida, Howe in the red. He resides in California, and we're on. Oh, big punch there. So Howe starts off second round with a solid one-point punch to take the first lead of the match. Good. Nice try there on the defensive spinning back kick. You can almost call that a hook kick because people are trying to hook it with their heel to the body. And we have a tie game now. There's a deduction for not getting his leg high enough by Hal. So, interesting enough, this is a very tight match here through exactly the halfway point right now. Good snapping cut kick by Bravo. Doesn't score. James Howe tries to sneak in the tight front leg. Bravo swinging over the top of the right hand punch and just barely glances off and misses. Good sliding front leg rounds kick by James Howe. So fast. So clean there. Just good cover. I mean, I've been really impressed with Alejandro Bravo's ability to cover all of these kicks. Even that, that usually scores for James. So he got just enough on it with his arm that it doesn't quite score. Bravo gets the touch. Hal throws the punch. With 30 seconds left in the second round, can there be some separation by either one of these athletes?
There it is, your first time. James Howe with the left. He hit that in his quarterfinal match. Now he hit a, almost a push kick, almost like a snapping front push kick that he snaps it to the Hogu, and he scores. So he takes his, the biggest lead of the game of two. And that's going to be a deduction for for not fighting. Wow, that's a tough deduction there. I thought it was going to be on the other side, to be honest, for him raising his leg without kicking. So that's going to take it to 3-2. So not a ton of separation. And Coach Benaby just befuddled over there with that call. In fact, he's spinning the, the round, not coaching. He's just kind of looking at the ref, like, oh, make sure that he got that correct. So at 3-2, it's anybody's match here in the semifinals of the men's under 54 kilogram division. Again, I'm going to say double-digit team member James Howe in the red. And on the other side, Alejandro Bravo, he's had some success at the collegiate level. I know that. I've seen him. He's medaled before for sure. And, uh, again, they know each other well. So that's been the most interesting thing. The cover of, of Alejandro Bravo has been something I've been extremely impressed with at this point. Oh, a hard spin hook kick to the body by Alejandro misses. But James Howe does contact with the sidekick there to score. So got him on the backside as he turns. So just a good move by James. Throws a big back leg straight up and down axe kick. And now showing that separation that he was hoping to get in the second round. He's starting to find it here early in the third. That's a big punch by James Howe. Just barely slides out of the way of the front leg. Then really closes space quickly. And throws the right hand really obvious for the judges to score that. James Howe turning up the action just a bit here. Oh, and Bravo almost casually scores to the body. But James Hell is a solid answer right back to the body. So just, uh, just right at 50 seconds or so left here in round number three. The winner moves to the finals. James Hell, big face kick there to the left leg. So James Hell scores a huge kick to take it to 10. And that's a that's a really big Big shot there to give himself a double-digit lead here with just 40 seconds left here in round number three. That's another solid right-hand punch. So he's found, definitely found something here in the third round with the punch. And fatigue's starting to become a factor for Bravo. He just looks a little bit winded. He's holding his knees, bending down, fixing his pads, definitely showing some signs of fatigue here late in the third round. James Howell just kind of that that's vintage James Howell kind of sits back, relaxes, kind of lulls you to sleep, brings his left leg slowly, then quickly right over the shoulder and scores to the head. So just such a savvy veteran move by an extremely classy veteran fighter and James Howell. So congratulations to James Howell as he moves to the finals. A beautiful, efficient, just textbook performance by the veteran James Howell. And Alexander Bravo hung in there for two and a half rounds, but it is not to be today for him. So congratulations, James Howe. He's in the finals. He's awaiting the, the winner of our other semifinal between Juan Carlos Norgeray and Melvi Alvarez. Don't go anywhere. More matches to come here at the 2020 National Team Fight Off from Colorado Springs, Colorado at the National Center of Excellence.